Hey guys, welcome to Nailed It. Today, we are tackling Joanna Gaines' beautiful springtime wreath. It's just a good looking website and it's it's very soothing, the language about this yeah. floral, festive, and just springy she's thing. She's encouraging me to just pick the type of greens I want yeah. and what speak to me, so. Um, <laughs> what yeah. greens speak to you? Mostly weeds. Yeah. Yeah. No, not, not <laughs> that. I mean, like, dandelions. What's the over-under on married men that we'll see at the craft store other than me? You will not be alone, honey. Point five, like, the, oh, so you're taking the over on point five. Totally. Okay. Honey, did you see that? What? There's another married man over there. Did you, oh, did you see he was following his wife? He did not look happy. Over here, honey. We need a wire frame. I think we should get... Can we go bigger? This is a bit much. I don't think our door is big enough for this. We don't have like a big door. One of each? Can we get out of here before this place explodes? Dude number four just walked in. There's, you know what, in the back there's a poker game. I don't want to get in on it. The instructions were to find greens that speak to you and then put them in the wire thing. There's not like a preheat oven to 45,000 degrees or anything? Like there's nope. no, it's just- It's, just it's gonna just, be super simple, honey. Buy a wire, put stuff in it. Yes. That's the, inst I don't see how we can mess this up. I know, so I'm going to be getting my greens from an actual florist, which I didn't know that florists actually did those things, so. The, the first flower shop we found was under construction. They had moved, but then they didn't tell us where they moved, and we searched another one, and now we appeared to be in a field where our bodies will be found at some point <laughs> um, um, by no. a jogger. It's like a bunch of car garages. You know, when I'm in a pinch, I need to get you flowers. Like, 7-Eleven has lovely carnations. Your destination is on the left. No, it's not. Oh, you know what though? This looks like it's an event venue place though. Well, going in, I'm staying here. I'm gonna go ask them if it's a flower shop. Is that okay? Okay, it's not. <laughs> He's going to ask. Oh. So they sell, fit. that's what I said. They sell yeah. finished stuff. They don't oh. sell like greens. So we're in the wrong place. He, what I do okay, is Okay, I got it. So it's right. Um, maybe let's just go to our yard. I am just over this. I don't want to talk to people anymore, so let's just go to our yard. <laughs> this dictates most of Kim's behavior, is how much interaction she has to have with other people, and we have reached our limit, <laughs> We I have reached our limit of Kim communicating <laughs> with people. Oh, we're gonna do a great <laughs> job with the yard flowers. I know. She and even she, suggested it. She did, and she's super sweet. They were so nice, and I totally suggest you go here if you want people to make flowers for you. But that's not a very fun Nailed It. No. Today on Nailed It, <laughs> we, we buy it. something. <laughs> Kim, holy moly. I uh, went to the grocery store and I brought every non-carnation product they had and um, I thought I needed help from a friend. Her, <laughs> her name is Kim Crawford. Right, you guys are practically family. Yeah. So far, we've each got one metal wreath that costs $4.99. Uh, what's your what's your tab looking like right now? That you cannot put a price on beauty? This is called floral foraging. It's organic, reusable and sustainable, and it is free and partially illegal. So you do you, I'm gonna be right back. There's like fix and yeah. things. It's literally like a wasteland back here. Ivy. And what's the difference between this and like poison ivy? Poison ivy doesn't grow on trees, I do not think. Flora! So I think we're close to having enough stuff. Let's go on this way. Okay. Those are azaleas, don't don't pick them. It's a wimpy little azalea, we're fine. Here. So very typical Kim move is I didn't read all the way down in the directions and apparently you have to have floral wire. I'm not going. I'm not going. Update, mommy went to the store. I went to the store. She I bought went, some stuff. I went to the store because we had forgot wire stuff, floral wire, and I was gonna just try to do it with tape and rubber bands, but I felt like that wouldn't do Joanna Gaines justice, so. Here we go, we got homemade versus... Yard versus grocery store. Yard versus grocery florist. So what I'm gonna do is, just like uh, when I was in Boy Scouts, is I start with the bigger pieces first. Hold on, you made wreaths in Boy Scouts? No, when you make fires. <laughs> Which 
way faces out? The humpy part, right? This is what I have so far. I do realize that I've purchased these flowers. This whole thing will die a miserable death on our front door. We'll let Lola judge who wins. And like a blind judge, right? Like Right, we're not gonna say. We're not gonna say who made what. Lola will probably know who, who made what, and she is very sensitive about not picking favorites because she's the most mature person in our family. Totally. This is looking pretty good. This is mine. <laughs> not really sure. <laughs> What I'm going for. I, I still think like once you get to these really pretty ones that you put the money on, um, it's gonna look great. Yours looks really good. Joanna told us that this was gonna take about 15 minutes. I have lost an entire the day to this. Car trip alone has taken seven hours. What? She probably gets the flowers because she opens the window and goes, ah, ah, ah. And a bunch of chipmunks come up to the door yes. with and a fully assembled perfect. bouquet. Yes. Mine is starting to shape up. Is it? Oh, you know what? Actually, that looks a lot prettier than mine now. Great, honey. Yeah, it's not bad, actually. And it's free. It's not free. Mostly. Look at this. I feel like I could win the Kentucky Derby with this thing. It'd have to be a horse, but never. My wreath celebrates the birth of spring as well as the economics of spring. <laughs> if you lift it up and take a look, it's very full. Um, and this isn't bad, right? <clears throat> it's very nice. I call it spring surprise. Because <laughs> I am surprised. Yes, exactly. You know how you do these DIY projects to save money? Like, why go to Target and buy a wreath for $50 when you can go to the store and spend $50 in three hours? That's basically what this wreath is here. <laughs> I went for very full springtime, springtime, springtime. <laughs> it's an English garden, overgrown English garden is what I went for. Overgrown English garden. We're gonna have Lola judge and whichever wreath she likes more gets to hang on the front door and the other one goes in the side door. Uh, I mean, I like the flowers. They're nice, but a little green. Just a little green. Yeah, they, they looks really good though. Like, but it looks maybe a little too green. Green. So this one's Daddy's. Really? I don't, I don't really know for sure. Oh, ooh, well, that's very fragile. So. <laughs> it definitely wins the color situation. <laughs> I mean, some of these are a little bit wilted, but besides that, I really like it. So which one would you like to see hanging on our front door? Hmm. This is hard. They're both really good, but they're also both really bad. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, mommy wins! Mommy wins! Good job. What was it about my wreath that you loved so much? I couldn't handle the pressure, so I had to choose one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is better, Lola. Springtime. Thanks for watching. What else should we try? Leave a comment. Let us know. Take care. Oh, that's <laughs> it's gonna all fall off.